Fireflies, or Hotaru, as they're known in Japan, draw the hearts of the lucky people who get to see them glow. But, if we are not careful, these lightning bugs will disappear. But we are not without hope. ECHOES, a sustainability-focused student group at Ritsumeik and Asia Pacific University, work together with a local community group, the Environmental Protection Club, KEPC, to help bring back the firefly population within the urban area of Beppu. In 2013, the number of fireflies near Hia River in Beppu, Japan, was at a staggering low. However, with the help of the Firefly Restoration Project, their numbers have raised several times above their starting figure. Due to the pandemic, 2021 had a significant drop showing just how important a role the local community plays in helping the firefly population. Associate Professor Mahichi at Ritsumeikan Asia Pacific University has been at the forefront of this project since her involvement began in 2012. Fireflies brings me uh, good memories of my childhood. Uh, I have this memory of fireflies flying, uh, which was the sign of the start of summer for me as well. Having them flying is, as an indicator species, actually they show us that uh, where in our environment we have a clean environment, we don't have pollution like light pollution. Fireflies to me, they look like uh, lighthouses that give you signals in a very dark to the ships or you know, those who want to continue their journey. Okay, let's go and enjoy fireflies together. Together, with the help from the student group ECHOES and KEPC, the Firefly Restoration Project works to count the fireflies every night before they hatch. So in the Firefly Project, I actually started with this small group in Kamegawa, which is the area that it's in, called the Kame Kame Group. We wanted to also help out their community because they are run by many elderly uh, men and women as well. And so ECHOES really wanted to help out with revitalizing the land because before actually the population almost decreased to zero. So it took eight years but every month we have a cleanup and we clean the river so the firefly eggs are in a very clean environment as fireflies only can grow in a clean river and making sure they have enough food, the right water, a pH, everything it has to be perfect for them to really come out. So this is the engagement that we have with the locals and also the firefly event. Judging from the nice atmosphere we have now, it's so wonderful um, that people have the feeling of uh, community again, that they can connect with each other in person. But I also hope that they'll um, pick up something about what it means to be involved in not only community of humans, but within a larger community of living beings and looking at um, nature, living with nature, and not only taking from it, but also putting something back and protecting it. After having counted all the eggs and setting up for everything for the main Firefly event, we met up with the KPC leader, Nobuko Takahashi, to find out what moved her to take charge of this event. やっぱり7、8年はかかってますね。命の繋がりとか、やっぱりそうやって命のあの共感、あの、ずっとご存知でしょうけど、ホタルの一生って本当に短いですよね。だからそういうのを見て、やっぱりこう命を大切にする。と
Thanks to Toyo Takahashi and the group that he founded, these urban fireflies at Hia River have grown to an astounding amount. Just this year, in 2022, the population has almost doubled from the previous year. These fireflies are not Hia River's fireflies in Beppu anymore. They are now global fireflies. Because if you students are coming from 90 plus different countries and regions, and along this uh, project, along the way of joining and volunteering and getting involved with the community, learning from this group work and dedication and how they manage all these events of cleaning and firefly watching, the student and me, myself, we learned a lot throughout this journey. And the story of fireflies of Hyok River has been transferred and has been taken back to students' home countries as well. And I do really hope that this student can start something similar with the same dedication of volunteer work, group work as we have learned and we have been practicing.